Chapter 9, Section Problem 39. A person packs two identical coolers for a picnic, placing 24 12 ounce soft drinks and five pounds of ice in each. However, the drinks put into cooler A were refrigerated for several hours before they were packed into a cooler, while drinks into cooler B were at room temperature. When the picnickers opened up the coolers for three hours later, the most of the ice in cooler A was still present while nearly all of the ice in cooler B has melted. Explain the difference. First thing here we need to realize is what can melt the ice. And what we usually are looking at is that ice melts from heat. And in the chemistry terminology, heat is the exchange of thermal energy or the change of energy between a system and the surrounding. Also, thermal energy will always go from hot to cold. So we will always want to see if it's going from a system that is hotter, it will always go to the surrounding that is colder, or if the surrounding is hot, it will always go to the colder system. So we'll see the difference of that in our um, diagrams when we look into the next page. So I'm going to draw our soda cans as a box with the label of A in it and go through the different steps of what's happening throughout this problem here. So we have a 24 pack of soda cans of A that was at room temperature, which is about 25 degrees Celsius. And this is for cooler A. These soda cans were first placed into a refrigerator. The refrigerator is going to be our surroundings, which is about four degrees Celsius. So that is colder than our cans, which was recently 25. And since the cans are warmer or hotter than the surrounding, it is going to release heat into the surrounding. Which this is going to create a change in the system. And since there's going to be release of heat, this creates a change in temperature. And this change in temperature is the thermal energy. So this has a high thermal energy in this step. Next, we take the I the pack of soda and we put it into a ice chest and we all know that water freezes at zero degrees celsius so we know the temperature is at zero degrees and our new temperature for our soda cans are four degrees celsius so there is still a change in temperature, so heat is still going to be changing to going to those ice cubes, but there's less thermal energy happening here in that change in temperature. So the most thermal energy that's happening is here in this middle step where there's less happening here because we're only going from four to zero degrees. Where in this middle step, we're going from 25 to four. But when we're looking at the cooler B, we're going straight from 25 degrees Celsius at room temperature to the zero degrees Celsius of the ice chest. And so there is a larger thermal, thermal energy change here than there was when they went from at this ice chest and there was here. So this has the highest thermal energy change due to going from 25 to zero.
because it has the largest temperature difference because this has 25 degrees where this one was only four. So this has the highest. for the overall. And that is why all of the, or majority of the ice was melting, was because all of this heat from the sodas was coming out to help balance out the system.